Hey y'all, it's Taste Pink. Welcome back. And I got my Meek Millie's on under this scarf. Um, they're very old, very furry. If you know what Meek Millie's are, definitely hit that thumbs up button because I know y'all know. Okay, so I wanted to do a more beginner friendly kind of approach to installing a more natural textured unit. So Her Given Hair sent me this gorgeous unit that I'm going to show you and we're going to slay it. This is a 13 by 6 lace frontal wig. Again, I think lace fronts are the best for beginners. So anytime you're working with a unit that has a more natural texture to it, it has a defined curl pattern, I always want to co-wash my unit. I don't play games because you need to see the true curl pattern and allow it to relax because it's not going to be nearly as tight as it is when you take it out of the box. So just use standard conditioner to co-wash your unit. I do a co-wash bath. That that's what works best for me and then I allow my unit to air dry. Let it air dry, but I typically like to, you know, let it dry about 85 to 90%, and then I go in and do the little bit of customization that I do. So one of the things I like to do is tweeze the hairline just a little bit. Now, if you're a beginner, don't go to the beauty supply store and get those like super cheap tweezers you want to go to the drugstore and get something that has a more straight more pointed edge so that you have better accuracy and you don't have to you know spend your time fighting with the wig it should be a very easy process and you just want to tweeze in you know strategic places you guys saw how i did it it's very easy don't you know intimidate yourself but again working on the unit while it is damp while it has moisture it makes it easier and the hair just sort of like slides out so again i just did that across the entire perimeter hairline keep in mind that you're going to use your rat tail comb to create a very thin section you're going to pull the hair forward and tweeze a little bit and then you're also going to you know push the hair back and then tweeze across the front. You just want to clean sweep across the front as well as just behind the hairline. Okay, and so my next favorite step is I like to set the perimeter hairline. Now, if you're a beginner, this is how it's gonna make it easy so you don't feel intimidated, the hair is not falling in front of your face. It gives you more control over your unit when you go in to install it. So you guys need to pick up this mousse. This is the condition three in one maximum hold mousse. It retails for like 350 at the beauty supply store. If you can find it, definitely pick it up. This provides you with like a hold so you're setting your hair in place and it's going to lay exactly like that when you go in to you know either do your glueless method or you're going to do a method like i'm going to show you guys later on so i go in with a decent amount like a generous amount of that foam because i want to pack it onto the hair and then i'm going to use my double prong clips now y'all know how i feel about double prong clips if you don't have them you definitely need to get them because they're going to help you to keep the hair away from your face again when you're installing it it just makes it easier and i'm always thinking of ways to just like keep the process easy so you don't get intimidated and once i lay in the double prong clips establish where you want your parting space do this before you apply the setting foam or you know or the mousse and then i'm going to go in with my spray bottle now this spray bottle you know you can get it anywhere i like to fill it with warm water again i feel like warm water just allows the curl pattern to kind of relax a little bit and if you are someone who likes more volume you want to use less water if you want more of a defined look and you want the hair to lay a little bit close to your face less voluminous then you want to go in heavy with your spray bottle and apply a lot of water so once i add a generous amount of water to the unit because i want to do something with less volume i heard y'all y'all want me to focus on styling units with you know a lot less drama you know because i love extraness so i'm going in with the aussie curls this is the leave in detangling milk now this is my first time using it and I honestly once i saw how how it looked on the hair you know i went in with about like a quarter size amount just to see how the hair responds and i noticed that the hair was like getting more defined the curl pattern was definitely popping through so then i went in with like i would say maybe two more quarter sized amounts you know go in but don't do too much because you don't want to weigh the hair down and then you definitely need your denman brush or your kind of like detangling brush that is designed for curls because you don't want to you know distress or kind of like create crazy frizz so get you one of these and go to work and you definitely want to really make sure that you're distributing the product so you get the most curl pattern definition and then you reduce the volume 
Okay, so I'm gonna remove the lace at the back of the unit and then I'm gonna use a double prong clip to secure the hair near the ear tabs down. I'm gonna go in and trim the lace around the ear tab. And I'm only doing it around the ear tab, which is super important. Focus on your ear tabs, we'll get to the rest later. Now without a wig cap, I'm gonna put the unit on. Now this is a medium sized cap and it fits beautifully. The ear tabs line up perfectly with my ears so I don't have to trim any additional lace and I love that. And I'm also just gonna get more of the hair out of my way so it can remain neat. Now I'm going in with my shears to trim up this lace. And the one thing about me, I love transparent lace and her given hair gives quality lace all the time. So just with the got to be glued styling spiking gel, I'm going to apply a very thin layer of this just under the lace. You can kind of roll the lace back or peel it back and then use the double prong clips to keep it peeled back while you lay the glue down. But me, I'ma just see if we could do what we could do. Okay, so for the next step, I'm gonna use this elastic band and if you order from Her Given Hair, they send you the perfect elastic band to melt your lace. You wanna stretch the band first and lay it down. Making sure to make direct contact with those ear tabs so they stay down. So now that I let the elastic band set for about like 10, 15 minutes, I think I'm gonna go in and kind of refresh some of the curls, especially like near the ear tabs because it's a little frizzy, but you know, I'm just being a perfectionist. You don't have to do this, but I'm gonna keep the elastic band on during this process. Now that's what I'm talking about, okay? She looks good. Now with this flat iron, I'm gonna go in and really accentuate that part. You wanna use the back edge of the hot comb, sis. That's where the bulk of the heat is. And this opens up the part so much. And then I'm just gonna take the front edge of the hot comb and use it to kind of accentuate the front of the unit. And then with this wax stick, this is perfect. It like tames all of the flyaways. It creates a neater looking unit, especially around the part. I'm just gonna apply this. Now, if you want that flip over method, you know you gotta go on with a little bit more of the maximum hold mousse, and then you wanna use a large duck clip to hold the hair back, and we'll flip it over towards the end. Now let's take this elastic band off and see what we're working with. 
so I'm gonna do my last final touches you know do a little side swoop just with a little bit of mousse nothing too serious nothing you can call a baby hair and then I'm gonna do a little sideburns and also apply that concealer and pressed powder to set it in that parting space and across the front hairline and girl <laughs> Okay, so long story short, I did that. I definitely love how this video format came out. I kind of walked you guys through it. It was like a style with me, slay with me kind of vibe. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely don't forget to check out Her Given Hair. Use those discount codes during their holiday sale. Be sure to subscribe, turn your notifications on, share this with your homeboys and your homegirls. Give this video a thumbs up if you really felt this look. And don't forget to kiki with me in the comments, honey, okay? Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I see you in the next one.